You might think that a car racing sport with no engines roaring and no refueling might be pretty dull. Well, that's not the case, because the racing that's conducted using only electric cars by the name Formula E is considered as the electric future of car racing. The first name that would come to mind when you hear the words electric vehicles would be Tesla, and it's surprising to see that Tesla is yet to mark its presence in the Formula E motorsport. Hey everyone and welcome to Tesla News, where we bring you the newest and best updates about Tesla and Elon Musk. For daily videos, please consider subscribing to our channel. We have a community on Discord, where all of you can discuss the new topics but also post memes. So don't forget to join our Discord server to discuss future topics. With all that done, let's talk about Tesla joining Formula E. Just like the Formula 1 racing that we're all used to, Formula E is also a racing championship with single-seater open cockpit cars. But the difference here is that Formula E cars are entirely battery-powered, with a top speed of around 225 km per hour and a power-to-weight ratio that's 35% higher than the Tesla Roadster, so these are not slow machines by any means. Formula E is also the world's first fully electric international single-seater racing series, and it was launched way back in 2014. But when it comes to Formula One racing, it's been around since 1950. Despite Formula E being relatively new in global motorsport, it's grown to become one of the most important racing series across the world. You have to give credits to Spanish businessman and former politician Alejandro Agang, who's the reason behind the Formula E racing that we know today. The fact that electric cars are the future is undeniable. The goal of Formula E is to promote the uptake of electric mobility and renewable energy solutions in major cities around the world. You need to keep in mind that Formula 1 races happen in 21 different countries, but Formula E is only conducted in densely populated cities that are trying to fight climate change and reduce air pollution. Today, electric cars are often considered an extremely trending topic when we talk about climate change and our dependence on fossil fuels. Formula E has attracted so many legacy automakers worldwide, like Audi, BMW, Jaguar, Mercedes, Mahindra, Nissan, and Porsche, which is not bad considering that the sport's relatively new. Almost every car in Formula E racing is almost the same, and this is because the chassis itself is shared with other vehicles that are participating in the race. The brands can focus on their research and development efforts on developing other parts that include the powertrain, the gearbox, suspension, and combine that with incredibly advanced software, and you have slightly different cars competing to be on the top. With minor differences, the focus is more on the driver's skill rather than the cars themselves. However, with Formula 1 racing, you might have the best driver, but if that driver is not equipped with the best car, the driver might even lose the race. With Formula E, the results are different every time, and this makes it an exciting sport to watch. Formula 1 cars are purposefully built for pure performance, and they're also designed to race on much longer, faster, and broader circuits. But Formula E cars are much smaller, and they race on tight and twisty street circuits that are way narrower and shorter than your average F1 track. The reason why Formula E races happen on these city streets is that by doing so, Formula E will have the ability to deliver world-class motorsports directly to the fans, and they don't have to build new infrastructure for every race. Let's face it, most of these purpose-built tracks are built far away from where people live, and it can make it quite difficult for people to experience these sports. But with Formula E races, the races happen much closer to home for so many people. During the early days of Formula E racing, each racing team was required to have two cars because batteries cannot be swapped easily, and there's no refueling equivalent for electric vehicles. But things have changed today because the technology has improved, giving the cars the much-needed range to complete the race. Formula E is also different in the way it works, because it acts just like a video game, because there's this mode called Attack Mode, which will give drivers an extra 25 kW or 32 horsepower. The activation zone for this mode often lies somewhat away from the actual racing track. This means that the drivers will require to move away from the actual racing track, and they might end up giving their position or lap time for some extra horsepower. So, the strategy for winning races in Formula E is different from Formula 1, and teams will have to plan ahead on how to use these activation zones to win the race. When it comes to Tesla, we know that Tesla is the world's largest EV manufacturer, but it didn't show any interest in joining the Formula E racing scene, despite producing some of the world's fastest production cars that we have today. 
The very recently launched Model S Plaid can do 0 to 60 in less than 1.9 seconds, which is insane for any passenger car. There are so many reasons why Tesla did not join Formula E racing. The first reason will have to do with Tesla's goal to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy, and participating in Formula E racing doesn't mean much for Tesla, because Tesla's already making a lot of electric cars in their factories and serving so many people with their products. Tesla is also a company that's known for not investing in marketing. Even then, today, Tesla itself is a widely recognized brand among car enthusiasts despite the negligible marketing budget. Races like Formula E are conducted with the purpose of marketing, as well as for brands that participate in these races like BMW, Mercedes, Audi, and others. The thing that you need to understand is that BMW, Mercedes, and Audi do not have any true competitors for Tesla right now. Tesla had already proved their point of becoming the leader in the electric vehicle industry. Tesla is not joining the Formula E not because it cannot, but it does not want to. The passenger cars provided by Tesla are not meant for racing, even though the performance is on par with so many supercars out there. Tesla is focusing on improving the battery technology, total range, and the overall experience of owning an electric vehicle, and the company is not focused on winning races. Most races are done with the sole purpose of collecting data and then using that data for mass-produced cars. But Tesla doesn't require any of those because the company's got so many cars on the road today and it can gather as much data as required. Tesla will also not have the option to build their own cars for these races, which can be counterproductive if Tesla Motors were to compete in the motorsport and didn't actually win. Most people today think that Teslas are some of the fastest cars out there and Tesla wants to maintain that image, so joining races like Formula E might not mean much for Tesla. The other argument for Tesla not joining Formula E racing is because if they were to produce their own cars for the race, it's highly likely that they'll win. After all, they're already much ahead of all their competitors. The Model S Plaid and the upcoming Roadster 2.0 are examples of what Tesla can do with their cars. Most car companies build their race cars first and then adopt the data from these races and then use it for their mass-produced vehicles. But Tesla's always been the company that's trying to do the things that are considered impossible by many. So, Tesla does not require any of these because of the fact that there are so many cars from Tesla out there on the road today. What might work for other brands like BMW and Mercedes might not work well for Tesla because their product offerings are entirely different. Today, Electric cars have come a long way from being incredibly dull to highly desirable. Before Tesla, we had electric cars that were utterly boring, and people didn't even want to consider electric vehicles. They didn't have the range for practical use, and they used to take a lot of time to charge. The funny part is you couldn't find a charger in most public spots, which used to be a real pain for owning electric vehicles. But with Tesla, everything changed, all thanks to their robust product and their ever-growing supercharger network that will let you charge your car in just minutes. Tesla's offerings are superior to every other electric car manufacturer in the world today. As we move away from gasoline-powered cars, electric cars are the future. But will Tesla join the Formula E racing is something we need to wait and see. Today, Formula E teams and manufacturers are continuing to push the boundaries and revolutionize electric vehicles, even though they don't have any mass-produced electric vehicles yet. And even if they do, these companies also need to make a robust charging network to complement their products. So, should Tesla join Formula E? Well, yes, but only if the participants are allowed to build their own cars, which will drive competition and innovation, which is good for the EV industry as a whole. With that, we've come to an end with our video. What do you think about Tesla joining Formula E? Is there any possibility for Tesla to do something like this? We'd love to hear from you, so do let us know in the comments below. Drop us a like for the video if you liked it. Also, subscribe to our channel for more content just like this one. And while you're at it, turn on post notifications to get notified about our brand new uploads. That's about it for today. Catch you all in the next one.